Hello, my name is Paul and Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday. Today is part two of Yuligans with Two Left Thumbs, Nezaru, and the Turtle Melon. I hope you enjoy. Father Christmas and Mother Earth come for the feast every year and stay for a few weeks after. They're so proud of their son and what he does for all the good children of the world. Santa doesn't always see that, though. We need him and his jolliest for the sleigh ride. And that's why they have the spa in the back. <laughs> Jim. I, I instantly, <laughs> hey? What, what did you do? Was... Jim. Just Jim, 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 Jim. <laughs> This is going to be the most hench elf you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually, I am genuinely interested to see if this is the exact same scenario or if there's new scenarios when you pick the same option. Christmas isn't Christmas without some heavy lifting. Spend the week picking up heavy presents and putting them down. You gain three strong. Oh my god, I'm at six strong. Uh, you're going to fucking you <laughs> be the bodyguard for Mr. Claus, I see. You walk the rest of equipment one afternoon. Your eyes catch Okay. Okay. Things are changing. Okay. Yeah, I scratched two quite muscular elves thing. berating another, each other's deadly built elf. They shout about pumping the poor soul up all the uh, all the while destroying their confidence. Damn, I cannot read at all. That was also uh, a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, some people thrive on a little extra encouragement to get their gains. Something about how pillow-like these two's bodies are making makes you think maybe they don't know what they're talking about. I'm just so throwing shade have, at these people. Yeah, you've gone to the gym twice, and you're now the Chad of the gym. <laughs> Krampus <laughs> went and found a new place to hang out. You're, if, you run this town. If Krampus tries to park on him again, I will throw him by his feet. <laughs> So, unfortunately, I cannot ask the elves for training, because I have no money. <laughs> like, you, you lot are all out there working working your jobs and getting a wage, and she's like, mm, nope, Jim, shoo away the elves. You puff up your chest and approach the bullies. What do you want, puny elf? <laughs> <laughs> One of the two grunts as you approach. You push through them, causing them to fall to the floor a little too easily. Jeez, you're a rich. balloon pop. <laughs> a balloon pops, causing one arm to deflate. A uh, pillow flies out from under the sweatshirt of another. <laughs> a shriek of alarm echoes throughout the gym as they pick up their muscles and head for the locker room. The berated elf smiles and thanks you before going back to the bench press. One nice and one jolly. I love how the, the result of that was, oh, their muscles were fake. <laughs> There so you actually the... are the strongest elf yeah. there as of yet and that we know of. This is true. <laughs> there, there is this phenomenal video of like uh, people wearing like real medieval armor doing kind of like a staged mock battle. I can't tell how seriously they're meant to be taking it, but there's mm. one dude there who's like seven feet tall and is oh clearly so much bigger than everyone else and taking it way too seriously <laughs> and so this little guy like runs up to him and he just shouts from his helmet like tell me how the grass tastes little man and he puts up his shield <laughs> and the guy just pew just bounces off oh my <laughs> it's God. so hard and that's what i picture is that you yeah. are towering over these little elves and just, just this like, giant oh, hulking God. elf <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I picked the same option and it gave me a different scenario. I was really That's expecting cool. Krampus to be back parkouring again. I imagine with the game where uh, the only options you have are like, what, seven, eight? You have eight different options to go to. They all need like their varied dialogue options. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. the game would get boring real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think we have confirmed that speed affects turn order. Yeah, Because they have definitely. two speed. I'm gonna go to the workshop. Move presents, make toys. I want to make some toys. You spend the entire week inside the workshop, hammering away at toys with your fellow elves at the assembly line. Don't forget to whistle while you work. You gain one jolly, one speed, and one gumdrop. Forgot to whistle. Today's that, the day they introduce <laughs> all the graduated trainees to the workshop floor. Part way through the day, one of the new faces bounces up to you, beaming ear to ear. Ah, oh, great, it's a new guy again. 
I just made my first gumdrop, they exclaim. Can you believe it? A gumdrop of my very own. Okay, wait. Is that so... not like a legal printing of <laughs> yeah, I, was, yeah, I, was, I was just about to ask, like, it's, I thought that was our currency. If he just made a gum, like, if he just made a gumdrop, did that not mean that he's printing the currency? <laughs> Friendos, I don't think it was literal. <laughs> you either you either report this guy or ask for a cut of this counterfeit dough. <laughs> well, whether it was real or not, the elf holds his prize out for all to see. Look at my gumdrop. Give advice, steal the gumdrop. <laughs> steal the gumdrop. Your your hand darts over the naive elf's outstretched palm. They shout in alarm. Ah! First lesson is making the drop. Second lesson is keeping them. You laugh as you walk away. <laughs> Someone needs to teach these youths that not everyone is on the nice list, and it might as well be you. You gain one naughty. I gained one naughty. I'm neutral again. Uh-oh. I was a little surprised that wasn't worth two naughty. Oh, but you I also got one more gumdrop. Nice. You just stole from someone. Oh, I like, should have yeah. probably... I didn't actually realize that Naughty was a metric that that was yeah. on the board. Yeah, I just... He's I'm realizing money now that there's, like, a shiny present and, like, a broken, ugly present. Oh, yeah. oh or is that coal? That's coal, I think. Oh, it might be just bundled yeah. up coal. It's yeah. coal. Yeah, you're right. Stealing, stealing that gumdrop from that poor, naive little new guy was pretty punk rock, though, I gotta say. <laughs> Has anyone gone to the kitchen? Oh, you, you made the cookies. That's right. I did. Uh, I, I don't know. Has anyone actually gone to the woods? I don't, think, I don't think anyone's no, no one's gone, gone to the woods. No, no one's gone to the woods or the um, workshop, I don't think. They're, they're two that haven't been. been <laughs> Whoa. I'm trying to go as nice route as possible. I, I don't want any of this neutral or naughty. I'm, so I'm, I'm not going to taunt the snowkins. I don't even. <laughs> oh, okay, I love Look them. Oh, what? I want to spend time with them. Participating in the Snowkin communal feasts. Ideas and stories are shared freely as you relax into the evenings. You gain one nice, one jolly, one creative. I'm so weak. No strong. An unseeably, unseasonably warm breeze flutters through the woods as you walk along a side path one afternoon. Ooh, I hope like El Nino is like a character. <laughs> Ahead of you on the path, you believe you see a Snowkin with brown fur and a strange gait. Is it a, a, a reindeer? <laughs> it crests a hill and you silently follow for a better look. On the other side, you can make out a group of snowkin laughing and talking as they meander about. Uh, are these, like, bad snowkin? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to think. I, I don't think, think if so. you assume they're bad, you're a bad person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, look, at, look at that oh, guy. No. Uh, they look different. They're probably bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's racial profiling. Very wrong attitude there for a young, sweet elf. I'm going to continue to search. You ignore them and push off the trail to continue for the searching for the individual with such a unique stride. Shortly after, you come upon a cluster of oddly colored rocks. You decide to rest on them a while as you attempt to deduce where your new friend had gone. I keep doing these, like detective routes and i'm very yeah. bad at them <laughs> the rocks have an interesting heat to them and you soon find yourself dozing off hours later you awaken unsure if anything that had happened earlier was real <laughs> what did they put in that <laughs> feast you wander home not having found what you wanted but with renewed vigor from your nap damn it well that was just like not i gained a straw that's you um, finally got a singular muscle. I mean, I like that I have a lot of jolly, but this kind of like I I would rather be heavily invested in like two stats rather than this like Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Didn't feel like a great week for me. Can I also <laughs> Every time you gain a strong, you gain one singular ab. Oh, I don't the think I can mine. also go to the gym. If you're at the, the gym, gym is mine <laughs> that, that that sucks because you're the fastest and the strongest one here and i want to be faster than graham and i can't do that if you keep doing this 
That's a funny strategy. You just hog the gems and no one else can get that. Not <laughs> Okay, so abominable wood elf. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go work for my feed. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, this isn't where you make toys. That's up there. Oh, no, I guess I'll go see Krampus. Well, or I can go to the kitchen. I'll see Krampus. Let's go encourage Krampus. Or discourage. Is Krampus good? I don't know. Kramp <laughs> yeah, Krampus is bad in a good way. Encourage Krampus. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Deep God, down, what's he doing to you? I don't know, and that's the thing that worries me. Deep down, you know on. <laughs> Deep down, you know Krampus is only trying to make the world a nicer place. You spend the week trying to help him find the naughty and nice list. You gain one nice, one strong, and one creative. Krampus is stretching as you approach. He picks up two metal pots and clangs them together close to his ear, inspecting the sound. He swings around one of his switches, uh, getting in a few good whacks. Wait, sorry. He swings around one of his switches, getting in a good few whacks on the side of his sh shed. What is this? What is I, I'm Krampus so confused. Is Practicing <laughs> for the Krampus run next month. Care to join? <gasps> Fuck yeah, let's practice. Oh, here's how you're going to get your speed. Krampus hands you the pots. The loud noises warn the naughty that the switch is coming. Wh what's the switch? It's like when you strip the branches off of, like, a thin... Like, when you strip all the side branches yeah. off of a thin branch so you can, like, whip people with it. Uh, what?! Yeah, ba basically, <laughs> Kr Krampus uses, like, a bundle of sticks to just whack people. That's kind oh of his Oh my thing. lord! Uh, I mean, and, yeah, okay. That's what his switch oh. is. Oh my. Oh, I'm yeah, kinky. helping him with very bad things. No wonder his tail is wrapped around me. <laughs> To keep you close. You clatter your instruments together to Krampus's delight as he continues practicing his switch skills. Your arms <laughs> are tired by the end. You gain one strong. And Still no it. speed. No speed. I wanted speed. <laughs> as November draws to a close, guests for the feast begin to arrive several days early. Time to put on the finishing touches. You never know who might show up. Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of hope so, yeah. So the Jack, Elves Workshop, music, Jim! Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Christmas isn't Christmas, that's some heavy lifting. Did Spend the whole week. Did you have a name? <laughs> Grr. I think you Muscles. also picking just the one, like there's two Jim options and I think you're just picking the same one every time. You might have picked the second one once. <laughs> she is going to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's yes. not like a battle. Three strong. Good <laughs> <laughs> two shoes stands next to the gym's bulletin board, tapping a foot and trying to flag down anyone that makes eye contact. Please, Gaudi, please. <laughs> I think that's it's like such goody. a horrible thing. Goody? Oh, yes, it is. I think Gaudi. <laughs> Gaudi. Good. Please, Goody, pleads. Oh, that's a horrible sentence. Uh, describing her cycling class that promises to make your mind as quick as it does your legs. You look over the flyer she posted, only to realize it costs four gumdrops. I'm poor. I have no money. You haven't been working. I wonder why. Create my own. Yes. This game Inspired doesn't really good entrepreneur entrepreneurship. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not exactly easy to get them. You're getting like one at a time. Uh, you head home trying to think of things you could teach uh, cheaply at the gym. After several creative ideas, you land on blowing bubbles. <laughs> you're this strong, is... but you're not exactly smart. <laughs> I gotta right. say, this is like an absolute <laughs> yeah. hulk of a woman. And I'm she's just like, imagining that bubbles. episode from SpongeBob SquarePants yes, where same. he's teaching, le he's giving lessons yeah. for a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> you do like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Double take. <laughs> Three times! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring it around town. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about breath control. Your figure. The other gym goers don't figure the same. As you stand there begging for students, you see uh, Gay's class filling up in one side of the... In what? 
but filling up in one of the side rooms. There you go. Your pride throbs in agony. Oh, as you shuffle home for the night. Oh, this is the one time you go to the gym and don't feel re like vigored. <laughs> yeah. Afterwards. I love I, this like meathead route you're going for though. <laughs> that you're just jacked, but you're like sad and not creative. And <laughs> <laughs> it's just a hollow husk of an elf that's just jacked. I work your out to try and fill the void. Blown three sizes, but your heart shrunk four. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll go to the kitchen. Do I bake or do I do a taste test? I made cookies. I think I'm last gonna go. Time. I'm gonna go all in on the naughty thing. Taste test. You spend <laughs> you the week tasting up. everything coming out of the kitchen to ensure only the bestest treats are given out. It's a hard job, but somebody has to do it. I should have done that. <laughs> you gain one jolly, one creative, and are paid one gumdrop. And you got paid. <laughs> Did you not get paid? I didn't even get on the naughty list. This was I my actual get... job. I got paid, <laughs> but I actually made the food. <laughs> <laughs> it's time once more for the semi-seasonal bake-off. Anyone working in the kitchen has a huge airplane passing over their house right now. I mean, this week has been drafted to participate. Lucky you. At the end of the week, the kitchen is transformed to accommodate an audience. You're given a list of foods you'll have to prepare. A midwinter turkey feast, homemade candy canes, and spiced eggnog. Ooh. The catch is that you'll have to bring your own ingredients. What do I do? Get inventive or I can buy rare ingredients. I have the gumdrops. This is this the first time anyone spent spending. my money. Yeah, yes. that's something I don't spend anything. You purchase a cookbook and make your way to the post office to place orders only for the best ingredients. Your recipes may not be original, but they're guaranteed to taste top-notch. The cheat code to cooking good shit. <laughs> the day of the bake-off arrives and the kitchen is packed with audience members. Is this actually a cooking contest? It's a tournament arc! <laughs> the buzzer sounds and you retrieve all your ingredients freshly delivered. Not even the two shoes family recipes can compete with, buy with your buying power. Ah yes, goody two shoes. We showed her last time, we can show her again. I mean, to be fair, way, oh, I gotta hey. say, you, you, you paid two weeks' wages for one meal. That's insane. Also, yeah, it's yeah, not about the money, way. it's about sending also, a message to the goody two shoes. Also, as a, as a quick little side note, this is just to teach you that you win by a landslide, money buys everything. Yes. <laughs> if you can buy an Oscar, then surely you could buy yourself a, a championship and a bake off. <laughs> You gain two jolly and one creative. I think we've only gone to the museum once. And I did Paul the weekly did... exhibit. So oh, yeah, you... I'll do research. Yeah. We spend the week delving into Christmas's history, discovering long forgotten family traditions. From the Christmas you get family. Paid? <laughs> oh, you sweet. Get paid. <laughs> <laughs> nice creative and a gumdrop. A group of snow elves push into the exhibit on Father Christmas's Winter Kingdom. A diorama showing the kingdom on a cloud sits in the middle of the room. Next to it, an old snowflake cutting and miniaturization station sits. Wow, that was a mouthful. Waiting to teach how the snow elves handcraft snowstorms. The group begins complaining about inaccuracies. I mean, weren't they making snowflakes? Every snowflake is unique. It's literally impossible to make it to be accurate. Yeah. yeah. One yanks uh, a lever on the snowflake station to prove it. The machine comes alive. What? Sheets of ice begin to wildly fire from a tube hanging overhead. Well, if it asks me this time to take on a detective role, I think I know who did it. <laughs> um, melt with inner warmth. I am very jolly, but am I jolly enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my Christmas you spirit in enough. <laughs> You clap a nearby snow elf on the back, point at the oncoming sheets of ice. You let out an infectious laugh that spreads throughout the crowd. <laughs> so infectious. <laughs> Between the heat of the laughter and glow of your happiness, that ice didn't stand a chance. Staff turns the machine off and thanks you for your quick thinking. You gain one nice and one speedy. No! That, well, 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> no! Wait. I have that should have been creative too. and jolly and nice. and That was everything. That was a very well-rounded okay. action. So the only... Okay, so the only ones that I think we haven't been to more than once is, like, Soda Jerk uh, and the, the Abominable wood? wood. So I'm going to go for the Abominable Wood, I think. Right, let's see. You have to taunt them, though. Uh, well, nope. She could still be new, but... Mm. It depends if you want to stay nice or lean naughty, I guess. I want to be a nice boy. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could just go with feast again because it most likely will be a new option. Yeah, yeah, it is a new new picture as well. You That's spend cute. the week participating in the Snowkin communal feasts. Ideas and stories are shared freely as you relax into the evening. You gain one nice, one jolly, and one creative. As you take a stroll through the woods, you find a half-torn package. An attached note reads. To Abbey Snow and a bottle of North Pole's freshest olive oil within. You recall that the Snowkin are holding a ceremony all week in honor of the rededication of one of their sacred monuments. They might need this. On the other hand, Claus's kitchen would be extremely grateful for some North Pole's freshest. The kitchen <laughs> keeps drug. the North Pole going, <laughs> so any help it can get. No, I'm not giving it to the kitchen. Literally, my options are help with the cultural restoration of, like, the society, and also they need ingredients for the kitchen. <laughs> I'm yeah, to... they can make do with canola oil. They'll be fine. <laughs> Delivering to Abby. The leader of the Snowkin paces her tent as you enter. Before she can launch into a righteous tirade, you hand her the olive oil. She guesses. This is the only fuel we got for our fires. She tosses you a gumdrop and hurries off to the ceremony. <laughs> At the end of the week, you walk past a gathering of dozens of snowkin, dancing and singing around the bonfire. Several days, uh, several of those leaving murmurs that wait, several of those leaving murmurs that the bonfire has been burning for almost eight whole days. That couldn't all be off of your one flask, could it? You gain one jolly and are paid one gumdrop. Nice. Who knew olive oil was so multi-purpose? Oh my god. Santa is awake. I repeat, the big guy is up. Does he the hibernate? Feast is upon us, and there's <laughs> so much to be done. Not only do we have Father Christmas and Mother Earth, but Jack Frost, the ghosts of Christmas past, and Abby Snow, leader of the Snowkin as well. Even Krampus has decided to join us on some holiday cheer. What could go wrong? I'm really curious if who is present is consistent or if that has to do with what we did. It seems like it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Who also, we helped. You guys confused me a lot by like reading one sentence, then the other. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting here for like a hot minute being like, wait, aren't you going to keep re Whoa, no, You're wait. <laughs> we came up with popcorn reading. <laughs> <laughs> We're transferring power. It's fine. Although I think that one scenario was the ghost of Christmas present, and it says that p past is here, so I really don't know. Yeah. Ooh, is there so an I option can... for you to bench press anything? Because I think that's all you're good <laughs> for right now. <laughs> I think that set the table. <laughs> right. Schmooze that, guests that, by literally bench pressing oh, them. Just fucking no, the, go the, over the there and flex. Light. Look at the color of the lights between that. That's like oh. what it's. Like. I, I don't know nice. if you were. I can't do anything. <laughs> it totally is. It set the table, but only like one half of it. So I guess I do that. And um, you're, you're a little speedy. I'm a little speedy. Overflowing plates need to get to the guests. Confirm. We have the silverware down on the table before too many more elves can come over to help. You lift some more of the extravagant dishes onto the table with ease. The Literally the dishes. I'm like bench pressing these dishes. <laughs> yeah, but free up a lot of the elves to help elsewhere. Yes, I did a, I did a good thing. You did, you did oh, good. Being that was... fast is so useful for this part because there's only four options. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like I will schmooze the guests. Entertain the guests while they wait for their feast. Confirm. 
With a pizzazz of a star, you're sent out first to greet the guest. You, com you compliment Father Christmas on his beard. Reminisce on old times with the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> and really banter curtly with Abby Snow. Everyone is merry and bright. Okay. Wow, I think you, seems like you crushed it. Well, I am not very crazy. Jolly was really my thing. I really wanted to schmooze. I guess I, mean, I would have been easy. Saved his ass is still Jolly. So. But it, it makes me wonder if it's speedy first, Jolly second. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I, it's the only one that makes sense. And by that, I mean I love it. It's what I want to do. <laughs> Get the dessert fast and with a smile. Everyone gets their desserts eventually. Oh, you slow boy. <laughs> their mood sour the longer they wait. Oh, oh no. no. Can we reorder so you schmooze them second? Because you just <laughs> lifted them up to have a great party and I'm bringing it right back to <laughs> I like Dessert. the way everyone's like, you notice this one dimensional person that goes to the gym and oh, ends up being God, really look useful. Much, look at how much they guilt you. Dessert is the real reason they came. No. <laughs> we started off on such a high. Pick up the pace next time. Oh my time. God. Oh, All right, right well, I only you. have one option left, and it's to prepare but the side. You, to to you have You're high creative, so that works out. Mm <sighs> hmm. <clears throat> Make inventive side dishes uh, before the feast begins. Confirm. <laughs> yeah, confirm. It's a terrible order. You get to work <laughs> in the kitchen, helping the others prepare the traditional signs for the feast. Vegetables, potatoes, and biscuits. The favorites are all there. The feast <laughs> is a little quieter than usual this year. Almost certainly because everyone is enjoying the food. Oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> Yet another good feast behind us. As the dessert plates are taken away, everyone briefly settles by the hearth, ready for another year of banter. Oh, this is a really long one. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Believe in you. Krampus preaching about the need to punish all the bad children with coal. Abby Snow complaining about Mal and the other elves who continue to prank the Snowkin. And the ghosts of Christmas past and future arguing over which Christmas was slash will be the best. So Mal is just an elf. Mal's an yeah. asshole. From <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all from that yet. And I'm so stuck. the night ends with Santa leading his parents off to Mother Earth's cottage, exiting the room with a signature jolly laugh. Okay. A classic. Looks <laughs> like it's December oh, now. Whoa! New we buildings, new, new you areas. You can't work out anymore. How do you what feel? What am I gonna do? I am actually distraught. I'm gonna ice skate. <laughs> The gym is gone. <laughs> yeah. I just like that the first letters of sand has begun pouring in. We're all loosening our belts a notch after the midwinter feast, but we can't let that slow us down. Midwinter? I'm in Canada. I got like four more months of winter ahead of me. <laughs> now that the big guy is awake, we can finally open up the rest of the North Pole. <laughs> 